What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing how to program the Atmeg microcontroller using C language with Care compiler. Without wasting much time, let's get started. To be able to achieve the aim of this video, I'll be writing a simple C code that will continuously blink three LEDs and use the Proto simulation software to simulate the project. So it is assumed that you already know how to write embedded C code and familiar with the Proto simulation software. Let's start with designing the circuit in Protus. Here in Protus, the first thing I'm going to do is to pick the component. So I'm going to click on P. I'm going to be using the AT89C52 microcontroller. I will need the resistor. I will also include the LED. I'm going to use the green one. That will be all. So we'll click on OK. So next, I'm going to connect the component. I'm going to bring in the microcontroller first. The resistor. I'm going to use port 2 of the microcontroller. Okay, next I'll bring in the LED. There are two ways we can connect this LED. We can either use the common anode or the common cathode. I'm going to use the common cathode first. The negative pin of the LED will be connected to ground. I'm going to rotate the LED. to bring in the ground connect all negative pin of the LED to ground okay I'm going to change the value of the resistor I'm going to give it 330 same with arrow 2 330 also with this one 330 so next I'm going to open the curl compiler to write the code so the first thing I'm going to do here is to create the project so I'm going to click on project new version project I'm going to save this project on my desktop so I'm going to click on desktop uh, before that I'm going to create a folder on my desktop I'll call this LED Inside the LED folder, that is where I'm going to create the project. So this project name uh, will be three underscore blink or let's say three LED underscore blink. Save. Then we're going to choose the microcontroller that we want to program. Remember, we are using AT89C52. Okay, click on yes. So next, we're going to create a new file. I'm going to click on new. Save the file. You can actually save this file in any directory of your choice. But I'm going to save it inside the project directory. And I'm going to call this main.c. It can be any name. I'll use main.c. Main I'll click on save. So next is to add this text file, this C file, main.c, into the project. So I'm going to double click on the source group, 
click on main.c then add close okay here this is what we're going to type in the code that is going to run on the microcontroller so in c language the first thing we have to do is to include the preprocessor directive so for this purpose for this microcontroller i'm going to use this include reg 52.h the next i'm going to define the main function void main void okay inside the main function i am going to create a loop a loop that we run forever the reason is because i want the led to continuously blink so it's going to be inside an infinite loop i'm going to use y y1 you can just say y true y1 here i am going to state exactly what i want so what i want here is i'm going to blink i'm going to turn on the first led while the rest are off after a second i'll turn on the second led while others will be on the off state then lastly i'll turn on the third led while led one and two remains off so there are two ways we can actually do this it's either we manipulate the the port entirely or we manipulate the pins so we're going, to, we're going to do both of them but let's start with manipulating the ports if i want to manipulate the port it means i'm going to it means i'm going to modify the entire port or the entire pins in port 2 that is 0 to 7 so here what i'm going to do first is i'm going to send one to p2.0 while others will be zero so i'm going to be using the hexadecimal so if you want to if you want to convert that to hexadecimal you're going to get zero one or just one because p2.0 is the least sig significant bit why p2.7 is the most sig significant bit so i'm going to have one as the hexadecimal so back to our care compiler I'm going to say p2 is equal to i'm using p2 because that is the port i'm referring to if i were to use port 3 i'll use p3 but since i'm using port 2 i'm going to use p2 so p2 is equal to 0x01 then after that uh there should be one second delay we'll get back to the delay let's use a comment there for now then after that delay we want the second led to turn on why led one and two should remain off so to to get that we're going to we're going to make p20 off that is zero p21 remains one so in other words we're going to have zero 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 one zero so that is two in hexadecimal so we're going to return back to our kill compiler we we'll say p2 is equal to 0x02 and after that we need a delay then the last one is going to be p2 is equal to 0x04 after that delay comes okay for the delay we are going to define a function that is going to create that for us so that function is not going to return anything i'm going to say void what is delay or ms delay let's think that'll be better because the delay is going to be millisecond uh it's going to take a parameter that will be on sign hint i'll call that t okay inside here i'm going to define the variables i'm going to use for the delay 
on sign i and j the next i'm going to create a loop uh, the loop actually is the main part of this delay that is what we actually create the delay so i'm going to be using a nested loop here to be precise a nested for loop let's say for i is equal to zero i is less than t i plus plus then the second loop is going to be for j is equal to zero j less than 120 j plus plus okay that will be all for the delay so i'm going to replace the comment with you can try to leave that if you want but i'm going to replace the comment with the delay itself so i would need one second delay because the delay i just defined is in millisecond i'm going to get a second delay i'll specify 1000 okay don't forget your semicolon do the same thing here 1000 1000 okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm done with the entire program i'm going to build this file okay no error and no warning but we there is one thing we have to do here we have to do a little modification so i'm going to click on project option for target one in my microcontroller i'm using a 12 megahertz crystal oscillator so i'm going to change that to 12 then on the output i need the hence file so i want to create i want i want this software to generate the hence file for me because that's what i'm going to upload in protus so i'm going to check that then i'll click on ok I'm going to build this code again. Okay, it says zero error and zero warning. So I'm going to switch back to Protus. I'll double click on the microcontroller. Then here, the browse icon, I'm going to click on it. Navigate to the project directory, add it on desktop, LED, objects, then the three LED blink dot hands. I click on OK. Let's run the simulation. As you can see, the project is running fine. I'll stop the simulation. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to simulate the second configuration. That is the common anode. So I'm going to remove the ground do same thing with this I'm going to mirror this now instead of connecting the positive pin of the LED to ground I'm going to connect it to power so I'm going to click on power Connect this to power. Okay, so instead of sending one to pin zero, one, and two, I'm going to send zero. So zero is the signal that we actually turn the LED on. That means I'm going to modify the code a little bit. So here, instead of using zero, one, I'm going to use FE. Uh, here, instead of using 0, 02, I'm going to use FD. And here, instead of using 04, I'm going to use FB. And that is all. I'm going to build this code once again. Then, 
return back to Protus, run the simulation. Still works fine. So this is how you can blink the LED by manipulating the port. So I'm going to make few changes here. Take it back to common cathode. Okay, better. I'm going to show you how you can manipulate your paint to blink this LED sequentially instead of manipulating the port. So we're going to return back to our care compiler. So instead of this, I'm going to define a new variable using the set bit as S bit. I'll call the first pin LED zero. Sorry, LED zero, and this particular variable is referring to port two port two pin zero second one is going to be led one and this variable is referring to port two pin one lastly we have set bits led two this is referring to p2 P2 2 that is pin 2 of port 2. Okay, so instead of referring to the ports, what I'm going to do here is I'll say LED 0 is going to be equal to 1. That is, I want port 2 pin 0 to be on. Y LED 1 should be off and LED 2 should also be off. So I'll do the same thing here. Let me just copy this. So instead of this, I'm going to use this. But LED 0 is going to be off while LED 1 will be on. Do the same thing here. This is going to be 0 while this will be 1. Okay, so I'm going to build this project once again. Zero error, zero warning. Return back to Protus. Run the simulation. We're getting the same results. So this is how you can manipulate the pin instead of the entire port. Thank you for watching. I see the stars.